guys, so today we're gonna make a little house for the uh, spiny leaf insects because we haven't done that yet. So I've got this little thing, um, one of the old kids food thingies here uh, and I just put in water in it but you got to cover the top of it otherwise they will fall in there and drown. So today I'm going to put a lid on one of my old fish tanks that I have and I'd like to give them a lot of space because hopefully they will grow uh, to a decent size. So I'm going to make a start on this. I've got some planks of wood that I, um, I have no clue what I'm going to do because I don't work with wood. Um, but I'll probably just make a frame around here and then hopefully find some hinges lying around which I have no idea why I'm going to have hinges lying around but we'll make something work and I've also got a roll of um, fly screen just normal house fly screen um, that I'll put over the front of this so it'll be very well ventilated from one side but eventually hopefully I'll make a little bit of a taller one uh, with perspex and then I can drill holes in the side of it and put my own vents in it so that'll be cool so yeah, let's make a start. So I made two identical frames to go around the edge of the fish tank. One was to support the mesh and the other one was to connect to the fish tank. Alright, so I've got the two frames made up, uh, I have no hinges, so I really didn't plan this one out very well. Um, I was supposed to get hinges, but I completely forgot them and just got wooden mesh. But um, I'm just going to connect the mesh to this wood and then, yeah, probably leave this video for now uh, and hopefully go get some bits for it. So I put the mesh front on and I've got a latch. I'll show you a close up of that in a second. But it works really well. Um, it's nice and tight. I just gotta figure out something for the back of it because I put the frame underneath the tank. I'm pretty happy with it. It works well and I'm not very good at wood. So I'm impressed. So I used a pretty small amount of tools, just a drill, screwdriver and pliers because I kept breaking things. For the hinge I just went to Bunnings and grabbed a little cupboard hinge. Nice and flat, easy and it's not chrome so it doesn't stick out too much. For the latch I just used this um, little latch here. It works well and you can pull them quite tight so it seals up the gaps nicely. I was originally going to use uh, a lock like this but I decided to go with one of these because I had it lying around. So it does work uh, and there is no gap. So I successfully did something with wood. Now I've just got to give it a quick little clean out and then put everything in here and it's pretty much done. So let's get that done. So this is where they're going to live. Uh, I've got my baby guppies and baby bristledoes there. And I've got my tarantulas there. So first thing first is you need your water and your leaves. Make sure you have access to a few different types of leaves. I'll put a list of preferred leaves that they like to eat in the description below. Also remember when you grab them, give them a quick little shake to get any of the insects that are already on the tree because you do not want to be bringing them into your house because they can cause problems um, and they can also affect the uh, stick insects. And yeah, so I shall put these in. Sweet, so now we've got all them in. All that's left to do is put the little guys in their new home.
So they're finally all in there. Uh, there was only five to find, but they're pretty tricky to find sometimes. Um, but we'll go through some interesting facts about them and tips and tricks to looking after them. First care tip, get yourself one of these. At least once a day, you're gonna wanna spray them with one of these. They get their moisture off the droplets on the sides of the tanks, out of their leaves and everything like that. So they don't need a water container. You don't want to do it too much. You just want a light mist. So it'll make it a little bit more humid in there. And if they want to drink, they can drink from the droplets on the leaves or the side of the glass. So an interesting fact about this insect is that the females will produce fertilized eggs without males. But, the females without a male can only produce female eggs. So in order for them to lay eggs that become males, there needs to be a male around. I'm not 100% sure how they breed. If anybody wants to know, they can look it up or ask me and I'll do some research about that. They are climbers, so they're gonna want something tall and not long. So if you are gonna use a fish tank, put it on its side to make it its tallest possible length, and that'll give them some vertical room to climb in. So hopefully I've answered a few questions that you have about these guys if you were gonna go get them. There should be enough information in this video to go purchase them and look after them. I will have some follow-up videos, and if you have any questions, do not feel scared to ask. Once again, they are leafy stick insects, and thank you guys for watching, and stay awesome.